Hello all my Lost Girl friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are in the 1.9.0.3 beta and I'm really excited about this one because it is a doozy of a beta. We actually got ourselves scripting API within Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now this will only work for Windows 10 Edition as of right now, but if you are playing within the beta on Android, unfortunately you will not be able to play with any scripts whatsoever as of yet. So hopefully that will be all fixed by the end of the 1.9 update and stuff like that. But we're going to be looking at what you can do with the brand new scripting because there is a lot of possibilities that come into mind because there is a turn-based example that they pretty much have made. It's kind of like the Luigi and Mario games where you pick a move and you pick a mob to fight and stuff like that. Then we also have ourselves a mob arena. Now the mob arena is going to be the first one that we're going to go ahead and look at. And I do want to point out that once you go ahead and click on the world, it's going to prompt you to enter the world. And the reason why it does that is going to tell you if your device can run scripts or not. So as I mentioned, your mobile devices, it's not going to be able to run any scripts whatsoever, but the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft will. And I'm not sure about Xbox One. I believe that Xbox One may have scripting, but I could be wrong on that one. If you play around with the new beta on Xbox One, uh, please do let me know if you actually are able to connect from a Windows 10 device or something like that. But we are going to go ahead and just take a look at this. Because whenever you first come into the world, we do have ourselves a chicken right here. Now normally, I don't like to kill chickens. But in this example, we're going to kill the chicken in about two hits. Now after you've done that, you get yourself some armor. So that's actually the first thing that you can do with scripting. Is make it to where whenever a certain thing happens. Then you get yourself a full set of armor. Or get yourself just some weapons and stuff like that. Now each one of these mobs are also worth different amounts of points. So, as you can see, we have a zombie that's worth 10 points. Now, skeletons, I believe, are worth about um, 25 points. And we'll find out in a moment. Uh, yeah, they're worth 25 points. So, we're going to go and take out the skeleton right here. And come on, take out the zombie with armor. So, you guys can tell that this can get really, really difficult uh, pretty quickly. And I'm not sure if that's actually what the scripting did to give him armor. I believe that might be something that the game just does on its own. But we're just going to go ahead and take out these skeletons. There's also a baby zombie. I kind of wish the baby zombies were worth a little bit more points. But they have to be the zombie mob for 10 points right there. Um, but there we go. And we're about to move on to round number 3. Now I do want to point out that I know I might sound a little bit off right now. Because I currently do not feel very well. So hopefully I will feel better by the next video. Uh, but besides that, there are 7 rounds that you must do in order to actually complete this mode. So once you actually complete all seven waves, then you'll be able to just go ahead and have a nice little victory. Let's take out the creeper. Oh, creepers are worth 50 points, by the way, which is actually quite good. So, oh boy, oh boy, that's a big shovel on you, buddy. That's one big shovel, and there's also a ghast. Ghasts are worth 75 points. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, I see why we got to try it now. All right, take, oh, ghast. Yes, we just took out the ghast. There's a zombie, there's a zombie. All right. Go zombie, get out of here. You know what, can I get my, can I get my trident back? Okay, I got my trident back, but I had to break that seed lantern right there. There we are within the turn-based game, and we have ourselves a bunch of sheep around here. It's basically just a flat land, but we're going to click on start. Yeah, that's another thing they can do, is make your own custom UIs, which is pretty great. So, of course, you can click start, you can have different arrows, and down here, which are our abilities. And how cool is this? So, how this works is that you must go ahead and select the mob, that you want to go ahead and fight after you selected your certain weapon. Of course, you cannot select which mob that you want to play as first. It's going to do that randomly. And of course, the health, sometimes it's max, sometimes it's low. I mean, it pretty much all depends. But it looks like these guys already did fight each other. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and take out this ocelot, just one it. And then we also have ourselves a potion. And I kind of wish that it would tell you what the abilities are. Because this is, of course, an attack right there. There's a normal slash attack. This one is just going to be like any type of potion attack, but I'm not sure what the potion does. It looks like it does like three attack damage. They must have ourselves a healing one. So the healing one will actually allow you to select it, and then you can go ahead and select the mob that you want to go and heal. And that's pretty much how that works right there. Then we also have ourselves our next guy right there. So we're going to go ahead and fight this guy right over here. So pretty much we'll cycle around each time. Like it just cycles across this way from left to right, which is actually pretty cool. So we're going to go back over to the blaze. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the potion. We're going to go ahead and take out this blaze right here. Because the blaze, nobody likes blazes. And then we're just going to go ahead and select that. 
And yeah, that's pretty much there is to that turn-based game. It's pretty short, but it still is really, really fun. So yet again, I'm going to go and click on Restart, and we're just going to go ahead and see how fast we can go and take these out. So, with this type of game, just take out the Ocelot first, because he's a lot weaker. He only like 10 hearts, stuff like that. So let's go back for the Blaze. So yeah, the sword is probably going to be the best thing for you to use instead of other stuff. Uh, but I kind of wish that these guys had like stronger attacks. So maybe if somebody were to make a map like this, like Mario and Luigi, then I'll definitely play that. And I think it'll be really, really fun. And just think about it. Just having Mario and Luigi within Minecraft. That is just really incredible. And you know what they could call it? Steve and Alex. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Blue Monkey series. Well, it'll cost something. Who knows? But besides that, please give me your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of the brand new scripting API. Because I'm really, really happy that we now have this. A lot of people have been waiting for this for an extremely long time. And I'm just happy that's finally here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos by me in the future. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and rest my voice. And I hope I feel better next time. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.